Greetings, my lovely heathens, and welcome to this episode of Cancerous Internet Insanity. My name is Morgan is Krieg, and as some of you know and most of you don't, I am a streamer on a website called Twitch TV. Today we're going to dissect and chew apart some of the reasons why I and most of you are going to burn in the fiery lake of hell. So with that being said, let's jump right into this degenerate video and get filled with some good old-fashioned fear tactics. And so I don't know where you come up with the idea that the only type of Christian music is stuff that just talks about the Lord. Well, what, what is the definition of Christian? You know, there was a man uh, in the CCM movement named... No, the definition of Christian. Yeah, what, what is the definition of Christian? As far as what? What's the definition of Christian? So, right off the bat, they're warning us that we need to seek God's discernment and protection. Now, I believe this was filmed in the late 80s and early 90s, and if that's the case, there's probably a lot of hairy dudes in spandex that probably don't need to be in spandex. So, though I don't pray to God, it might not be the worst thing in the world to get some protection for this one. So here we are with the classic talk show, Holier Than Thou thing, and there's a man that's calling into the show, basically like trying to beg with this pastor that rock music isn't so bad. Honestly, I feel sort of bad for this guy, because I believe he's, like, actually trying to be a good, like, believer. Um, and, and listen to good music at the same time. But instead, we get this awesome, albeit malevolent, question instead. Now, can you plug Jesus Christ into a stage with bombs going, smoke blowing, hair teased up to the moon in skin-tight spandex and leather? You're embarrassing yourself, you geriatric fuck! Bouncing around with a bass guitar and rubbernecking while the crowd scream? Ugh, oh, I know. So then he explains that even though Jeebus was around a bunch of prostitutes and sinners all the time, that you're basically filth if you're around them too. That's some crazy mental gymnastics he's having to pull there. And as much as it grosses me out to do this, these same men will tell you that Christians accept everyone. Let he who without sin cast the first stone. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Blammo! Disgusting. For 13 years, Jeff Godwin was a slave to rock music. After having his life totally transformed by Jesus Christ, God called him to the Ministry of Research, exposing the evils of rock and Christian rock. This video will help you understand Satan's influence in popular music. For 13 years, Jeff Godwin wasn't a dweeb until his life completely changed and he subscribed to an archaic religion full of nut jobs. Now he roams the land warning other paranoid geeks like you about a scary bad man who wants to turn you into a liberal homosexual communist. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn the friggin' frogs gay. Serious crap. Now if anybody ever dares to even question whether Christian rock music is of God and matches the word of God, there are many Christian rock fans that get very angry for some reason. And I just want to encourage you, as you watch this entire video, if that's you, and if you find yourself getting angry at some of the things that are discussed and some of the things that are exposed, ask yourself a question. Why am I getting angry? Well, of course they get angry with you. Music is a major part of people's personal identities. Music is the language that transcends all language and brings happiness to billions of people around the world. Just because some of us prefer one style of music to another doesn't give you or anyone else the right to immediately condemn them. Life isn't entirely about suffering, and it's insane for you to want to take away something that harms nobody and brings a lot of people a lot of happiness. Hey Morgan. Morgan. Where'd you put the... Um... Are you okay? Hey, Morgan. They're coming to take my CDs! Is music neutral? Music is a spiritual creation. The Bible bears this out very clearly. Is music neutral? Well, I believe that unless the particular music we're talking about doesn't have a religious or political agenda, whether it be the Christian or the satanic side of that coin, 
then yes, it is absolutely neutral. Honestly, you should be more concerned about the quality of Christian rock because honestly, most of it is worse than Nickelback. Look at this graph. But what really gets me is that this guy isn't even going after rock music as a whole. He's going after Christian rock. This dude is literally demonizing other Christians. Christian music is right or it's wrong by the word of God. I give up. Many Christian I give up. Nope. Jesus Christ nope. The world. When David was playing his godly music for King Saul, who was obsessed and possessed by an evil spirit, that godly music made the evil spirit flee from Saul. It made Saul well and refreshed in his body and in his mind. This is one argument I know probably isn't the strongest, but I'm going to say it anyway. No one alive today has ever heard music from the BC era. There really would be no way to recreate that, because musical notation wasn't what we know it to be today until about the year 1000. High five, Guido D'Arezzo! I think this anecdote is more fitting to the fact that music makes people feel better. It's not something to fear, but I think rather it's something to embrace. Even scientific studies have shown that music activates parts of the brain associated with movement, attention, memory, and planning. Yes, science! And back to the underground music sectors. Studies from the National Academy for the Gifted and Talented Youth, which is made up of 120,000 students that represent the top 5% of academic achievement, listed metal as their most listened to style of music. We can stand to reason that based on this study, people who are drawn to the more intricate instrumentation that metal so happily provides the masses can be a sign of higher brain function and intelligence. Yeah, I still don't know what happened to me though. Now, neutral music does not give positive results. Neutral music will not give negative results. If music is truly neutral, it won't give any results, and we wouldn't even be having a conversation like this because there would be no controversy about Christian rock. Yes, neutral music. Not Christian music, not satanic music, neutral music. We're going to do a little experiment here. Ask yourself a question as we play the next two pieces of music for you. As you listen to number one and number two, ask yourself. Ask yourself. Is this music Christian or is this music Spiritual? Oh, oh, those dice! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! The answers may surprise you. lie i've never heard this before but it's pretty weak next to twisted sister but i mean it's basically saying that sinners will burn in hell which is basically all over the bible in fact aren't you condemning these dudes just like they're condemning the unbelievers that listen to this dude what the fuck okay you've heard both pieces of music now it's time to find out which was christian which was <laughs> but wait a minute the message in that song was real good, wasn't it? It was about looking into your heart and seeing that it's black and that you didn't want to burn in hell and you'd better make a decision about something before it's too late, right? So if the message is good, then the music has to be Christian, right? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't know anyone who would listen to Burn in Hell and get the warm, fuzzy butterflies and happiness feeling that this guy did. I don't know anyone who takes all music as absolute fact. Almost like they're following something that should have been obsolete years ago. Like hundreds of years ago. Like a really long time ago. God, this guy must be just a fucking blast at parties. Do you know what the moral of the story is? If you and I can't tell the difference between the world and the Christian by looking or by listening, then there is no difference. They're the same thing. And if you have an ungodly spirit in the world's music, 
and you can't tell the difference in what's passing for Christian rock, then it's the same ungodly spirit. You can't be serious. I'm going to argue here that you can't make an educated assertion like that without the actual facts. I'm 100% sure that I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between passages of the Quran and of the Bible. Where you would probably be able to tell right away. In the same example, because I listen to metal so much, I would be able to tell the difference between Twisted Sister and another band full of dweebs that want to fit in and don't want to feel guilty about the type of music they make. And you don't exactly have to be an expert to figure that one out. But on the other hand, if we have more paranoid assets like you, hopefully we can keep Christian metal from ever actually being a real thing. Hey, what are you listening to? Oh, just some ancestor. My buddy True Cult told me about him. Thought I'd check him out. That's a Christian band. What? That's a Christian band. Morgan. 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 Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what I do and want to see me watch more preachers that I can't stand, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. I'm also on Twitch almost every night, and I'm also on Instagram, so follow me there too. My name is Morganus Creed, and this was my shameless plug.